What's going on guys? Welcome back to Rambling Garage. Today we are doing an installation of something I've wanted to do in my truck for a little while here. And uh, I just had my birthday a few days ago and my now fiance bought me this to put in here and I'm very excited about it. So it's going to be kind of hard to show you just because it's small in here. I'm using the front facing camera on my phone so hopefully it looks alright. But uh, it is a console vault. Hopefully you can see there. Uh, we'll put the link in the description to this one, but uh, it just goes in your center, center console so you can lock whatever you want in there. Uh, cameras, cell phones, firearms, money, whatever it might be. Uh, you can lock it in there pretty easily. So uh, we're going to install this thing. Uh, looks like it should be pretty easy. Um, the, the instructions do note that sometimes there are uh, threaded inserts are optioned on these trucks. Um, that must be on the non-poverty editions because I don't have that. So uh, it does come with self-tapping um, self-tapping bolts of sorts. So we're going to use those. That should be all right to tap into the sides and secure it in here pretty well. And uh, yeah, that should be it. So uh, they got a nice step-by-step. -step. Pretty much tells you to set it in there. Uh, hand tighten the, the, the nuts that it comes with and don't strip out the inserts. We don't have inserts. We're not going to strip out the plastic. So that's that so let's take a look at this thing um she got me the one with the three digit code on it so here it is here's the back side uh three digit code you just set these are have like pretty nice tumblers on them so they're pretty smooth you just open it and it is it's you can see it's spring loaded make sure it won't hit anything but it's got a spring in there so that's pretty nice so then you close it and you just close it up there it is so uh, default code on them looks to be 000. I'm going to change mine and not tell you guys what I changed it to. Um, but we'll use 000 for the purpose of this video. It's technically right side up with the, the logo there. So, yeah, that's that. I'm going to finagle this in there. It looks like it is a 7 16 or an 11 millimeter bolt head on this guy right here. So, I'm just going to use my lower torque uh, ratchet to get that in there. It'll be a little easier. Uh, you can use whatever you want, obviously. So, try and angle down here, and uh, we'll get this installed. Alrighty, guys. So, not the easiest thing to show you, but hopefully as we go here, it will be easier. Um, I think we're going to start going down like that, and we'll let the back side kind of... Let's see how this works. Okay, that kind of fell in on its own. This is where it's going to try and move the camera. It's just going to sit in there like that. You can see it's below the, the, the max fill line here, so we still want to be able to move this guy and cover it right up. So that looks good. Once it's in here, we can turn this. Opens right up. You can see I got to put in my, my screws here, my self tappers. And really, we're going to be done with this thing. So I'm going to do that quick off camera because you guys have all seen that happen before. All right, and that is that. Self-tappers are in. The way they go in, you can't really strip them out. Uh, the way they have the leads in here, they grab threads before they contact the plastic, so it makes lining them up and everything super easy. And uh, just remove it. You're just backing those out and pulling the thing out. Super simple install. Literally took me five minutes. This video might not even be five minutes. I don't know. Um, so just using it, uh, you just put it down. I, I like that the, the pull tab is here, but you really don't need it. Um, there you go, you're locked. Change the combination. It doesn't open. Change it back to all zeros. Maybe. There you go. And uh, just open it up. It opens right up. So that's nice. And like I kind of showed earlier, this whole thing slides right over it. It's messy, sorry, but. Once all that's down, like you can't even tell it's there. You can't really see it from there. Got me some kirkies. Um, open it up, and there it is. Super simple, super convenient. Um, you can tell there's a decent bit of room towards the back. You can fit a few things in here, so I'm looking forward to it. Uh, just having that exist in my truck. So I've been wanting that for a while. So that's kind of that guy. The, the, the install is super simple. Set it in four screws and you're done really. Um, I do have to reset the code and they have instructions on how to do that. It tells you right here. Uh, there's a paper clip on the bottom end and you push that paper clip in and set your personal combination. So I'm going to do that off camera obviously 
there's where that paper clip hole is for reference. And uh, yeah, that's it. There it is, console vault in my 2020 Ram 1500. Insulation is super simple. It looks fantastic in here. I like the fit and finish on it. It's solid. And like, I'm tugging on that pretty good and it doesn't budge. Uh, so I like that. Very nice product that they have. Link in the description. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Let me know what you think about it. And thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.